Greetings and salutations, my name is Deltran doing Fire Emblem Heroes. This is the second Yamada Kataro battle, and it's all Flyer Emblem here. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, this is the first team that I beat it with. Uh, I came up with this relatively quickly, and I tell you this not to brag, but, uh, well, you'll find out in a moment. But anyway, uh, Nunu is very important in this, as well as Xander. Really, anybody who can tank a hit from that mage and then retaliate is uh, who you want to go up there on that defensive tile. So you're talking about Xander, you're talking about Ike, uh, even with life and death. You're talking about Ryoma, and uh, you could use uh, Sanaki. You could probably also use someone like Niles and Varian. I haven't had a chance to test it, I'm very sorry. Uh, otherwise, uh, we're using Ephraim to buff up uh, Nunu. If she's not buffed, uh, things get a little bit more difficult, but honestly not a lot so. Uh, if you don't have an Ephraim, you just need to have a good blue unit that's going to go up there and tank Pala so that you don't have to worry about that. Uh, otherwise, that wouldn't be one hit. You would need to have a second one, and you have Olivia down there that would help you out. So honestly, this combo is very easy. It's very easy to substitute in and out for. Uh, so that works without any real issue. <laughs> now, this is why I said uh, that was my first team. Uh, I wanted to basically just be like, no, you know, I'm going to grab all these S tier units. I'm going to go ahead and throw them on the board. I'm just going to plow through this and mow things over. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's not what happens in this video. I, granted, I was distracted, but you know what? That was all a part of it. I was like, oh, these guys are just going to mow over this. This is super easy. No, there's a lot going on here with these units. And I wanted to take this huge fail of mine is a moment to explain some of what's going on. First of all, Subaki does have distant counter, uh, so be careful with that. If you are using a Ninu to do the attack, that's great because she's not going to take tons of damage or retaliation. If you're trying to use a blue mage to do that, just be a little bit careful that you haven't already attacked that poor blue mage because if they're a little bit low on hit points, Subaki's going to finish them off. Uh, Narcian has Iod shield. So you're not going to be able to use an archer to bring him down. As you could see, Camilla was able to just say, no, I'm not going to let Bride Cordelia take me down. That was my whole thing. I'm like, I don't need to use Ike, although Ike, Ike is pretty much going to get the only kills here at the end of this video. Spoilers. <laughs> and uh, Pala there is going to be a problem for you. Was, Pala was a problem for me working around for a few reasons because of her sword breaker. Uh, normally, I don't really care about Pala. She just doesn't have enough umph. Uh, and most uh, times, especially in PvE, she just is not a threat. But when it comes down to it, you need to be able to uh, work around this pala with Swordbreaker. And, uh, well, here we go. Here's where I'm going to just lose. See, I thought Hector would be able to take out Camilla there. And I was wrong. So then everything fell apart, and I'm going to go ahead and get the couple of wins here after I go, Wait, what? Huh? How did I lose? Because <laughs> Bride Cordelia is not able to take anything out. Uh, really, when it comes down to it, uh, archers are just not what you need in this fight uh, for many reasons. This Fire Emblem team, one, they have elite stats. They're buffed up. They're not normal, so they're not going to be what you would find in a normal PvP fight. But on top of that, these, these guys just have a nice kit. They have a lot of good defense. They have a lot of good attack, and you're going to just flop against them unless you very strategically pull people around and that's another thing I failed to do I didn't manage any of that on the right side and that's what happened here that's why it fell apart that's why all these S rank champions just sort of look like chumps right now so uh, I hope you guys enjoy the fail <laughs> uh, I, I know it sort of made me feel a little bit more humble which was uh, good, like I said, that first team I came up with right away, I saw how to do it, and I'm like, well, you know what, I could just go ahead and throw all these S-rank guys there, and it'll just go ahead and be awesome. Um, yeah, there's some thought that you had to put into this. But don't worry, I have another strategy here for you that will work uh, right now. Now, let me start off here and say that doing this fight without any kind of extra movement, whether it's a horsey, or whether it's a flyer, or whether it's reposition, swap, something like that, it's difficult. It can be done. As a matter of fact, this team can do it, even though there's two repositions on this team. But it's very difficult. You have to, <laughs> you have to really manage how to pull things. And I can't generalize it for you, to be honest. It's just really hard to manage that I find with these flyers in here. Or at least it's hard for me. Uh, maybe someone else can handle it. I know a couple other people actually on YouTube 
is really good at managing movement, and maybe you'll find a tip from them. But what we got going on here... Spring Krom is going to go over to the right and tank Sabaki. Now, he's not on the defensive tile. If you put on the defensive tile, he's going to get ganged up on by Narsi, and he's just not going to have the staying power that you're going to need him to have. Now, over on the left, you can see that we were doing some uh, reposition shenanigans there so that we could go ahead and make sure the Pala hits not a sword. <laughs> And uh, we used uh, Lloyd again. Lloyd is, uh, I think, uh, one of the uh, trends I'm noticing in these battles is that you can end up using Lloyd for a lot of this stuff. But anyway, for the most part, it was just easy managing of the aggro, and depending on what sword units you have, uh, it might go a little bit differently, but either one of those could have handled Narsian. Uh, either one of those could have handled Camilla. That's not the problem. Uh, just making sure that you either had someone that could tank and then retaliate and then have someone else to pull them out or just have someone that could tank and retaliate at the same time is pretty much what you want to do. And hey, if you can do me a favor, rotate the phone into portrait mode if you're on mobile or hit escape if you're on desktop and leave full screen mode and click that like button if I'm giving you something to chew on. If you missed some of the latest Heroes Goodness, tap or click on the links on the left. And if you'd like your information hot and fresh like Grandma's Cookies, click that subscribe button. My name is Deltra, and thank you guys so much. We greatly appreciate all of you, and until next time, take it easy.